What's up, folks? January 21st. Um, this is my second attempt because I think I got a little bit too excited on my first attempt. Um, but I think everybody should be a little excited about this. Um, what this weirdo is talking about, what this goofball is talking about. Uh, let's just move forward and uh, start this and uh, I might stop it here and there and uh, respond to a couple key points. So uh, let's hear what this tyrant has to say. Months. It consists of uh, my transitions teams, the task force, Tony Fauci and the team here today and other experts put this plan together. Our national strategy is comprehensive. It's based on science, not politics. It's based on truth, not denial. And it's detailed. You can right there, I have to disagree. Um, I would have to say a lot of that pamphlet right there. Um, there's a lot of disinformation in there. There's a lot of um, lies. There's no other way to put it. But they're going to call it truth. But if you tell a lie, if you tell a lie enough over and over and over again, it becomes truth, believe it or not. Let's move forward. Let's hear some more. And review this entire plan, this entire plan, by going to whitehouse.gov. It is so detailed, it is over 100, it's 198 pages. And, 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 and put complete. What's wrong with him? He can't even speak. Really? I mean, he has n he's not good as a speaker whatsoever. Uh, we've known that for a while. And uh, let's be clear about something. I was not about Orange Man either. I'm not about either of these tyrants. I'm not about the left. I'm not about the right. What I am about is our individual freedoms and our individual natural freedoms that we are inherently um, given that can't be taken away. Let's hear some more of what this tyrant is saying. Complete detail what we're going to do. Our plan starts with mounting an aggressive, safe, and effective vaccination campaign to meet our goal of administering one hundred million shots in our first hundred days in office. We're on day one. This will be one of the greatest operational challenges. One hundred million shots in the first one hundred days. Well, Joe, Joe, you hair sniffer. Um, that's a pretty lofty goal. Um, good luck with that. <laughs> uh, my standpoint, obviously, right off the bat, hell no. Go fuck yourself, Joe. Anyways, let's move forward. Challenges our nation has ever undertaken. And I'm committed to getting it done. We're committed to getting it done. And I explained, as I explained last week, we'll move heaven and earth to get more people vaccinated for free and create more places for them to get vaccinated to mobilize more medical teams to get shots in people's arms and to increase vaccine supply and get it out the door as fast as possible. Yesterday we got started. They've done this whole vaccination thing as fast as possible. Out the door as fast as possible. Um, no testing and research necessary on this vaccination, but yet on prior vaccinations, you know, they would spend two to five years uh, making sure that it's okay. Um, but with this particular one, um, yeah, a month or two is sufficient for testing it out and making sure it's okay before we um, <laughs> start plunging into the American's arms. Yeah, right. Uh, like I said, no, not only no, hell no. Joe, hair sniffer. Let's move forward. We directed the Federal Emergency Management Agency, FEMA, 
to start standing up the first federally supported community vaccination center. You know what FEMA means. With the goal of standing up 100 centers within the next month. FEMA centers. The Centers for Disease Control huh. and Prevention will FEMA launch centers. a pharmacy program to make vaccines available to hmm. communities in their local pharmacies yeah. beginning early within the, I think, by the 7th or 8th of February, and in very early February. We'll also task the Department of Health and Human Services to... FEMA centers, FEMA re-education centers, what's the difference, right? Uh, I want to get to the part that, another part that interests me. Um, what he says about the masks. There we go. One of our 100-day challenges is asking the American people to mask up for the first 100 days, the next 99 days. Pay attention, people. He said asking. Okay, he just said it. He said, we're asking. They're not asking anything. They're demanding. And they're threatening. Keep that in mind. They're not asking you anything. They're telling you. They're threatening you. What do you do when you're threatened normally by another person on the street? Well, that, be, should, that should be the same reaction towards these people. Every one of them. You don't let anyone threaten you. I won't. Don't know about you. Are you a punk? Whoever's watching this, I don't know who, but ask yourself. Look at yourself in the mirror. And ask yourself, are you a bitch? That's all you have to do. Um, if, if, you, if you are a bitch, you obviously wear a mask everywhere you go. You wear a mask in your car. You wear a mask when you're walking down the sidewalk. When the CDC themselves say in their paperwork, in their documents, how the masks are not quite as effective as we're told. Even on the side of the mask boxes that you buy, okay, the, the bullshit cheap-ass masks, there's a little notation on the side of the box. Maybe you should read that notation about how ineffective they are. Let's move forward with what this fucktard tyrant has to say. Look at him. He looks like a retard. The mask can become a partisan issue, unfortunately. But it's a patriotic act. It's not patriotic. No vaccines. Don't lie. The fact is that the it's not patriotic. Best thing we can do. They're even more important than the vaccines because they take time to work. And if we do this as Americans, the experts say. Remember, the masks are ineffective. He is lying to you. You are a fool. If you are still, I'm, I'm sorry. I know you're going to be offended, but if you are wearing a mask still. You are unread, and you fail to educate yourself. You fail to care enough to look into things on your own. All you do is what you're told. Stop doing that. Stop doing what you're told. Go find things out for yourself. By wearing a mask from now until April, we'd save more than 50... No thousand lives. No, you're a liar, Joe. You're a liar, lives. Joe. Joe, so go smell some hair, okay? Because you're a bad liar. Days. You're probably you're much better at sniffing hair than telling lies. And social distancing on federal property. Today, we'll be signing an additional ex executive. See, he's not asking people to extend masking requirements on interstate travel like on Does ma does requirement ask uh, sound like asking? There's two different sides of the spectrum. Asking and requirements. Okay, because he's, he's already lied to us a couple times in, in just in this podium showing alone. All right, let's keep on going. Trains, planes, and buses. And in light of the new COVID variants that we're, you're learning about, we are we're, we are in, in, we're instituting now. He's all. It's all about giving you fear. The United States. That's all the they countries. do is just the inject mass, fear, 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 fear. States Don't let this country. person put fear in you. Don't let CNN put fear in you. 
and don't let when the media arrive in America. Make you scared. And if you can't full scale war watch the media and not be scared, shortages. just don't watch the media. I'm ramping up production and protective equipment, syringes, needles, you name it. And when I say wartime, people kind of look at me like wartime. Well, as I said last night, 400,000 Americans have died. That's more than have died in all of World War II. All right, retard. Look at him. Look at that still of him. That That is Joe right there. That is Joe. But I'm Joe Biden. Come here so I can smell your hair. <laughs> All right. I'm sorry. I went on a tangent there. It was kind of fun. Um, yeah. People die every single year. Okay? People die every single year. And all they've done is you know, mess around with the numbers, you know, lower the numbers of all the other ailments, lower the numbers of heart disease, lower the numbers of kidney disease, lower all these other numbers, play with the numbers, and raise the numbers of COVID. That's all that's doing, that's being done. That's all that's being done. Real fucking simple. Don't let this retard put fear in you. Or sniff your hair. Don't let him get near you, period, for one. Because he will want to sniff you. 400,000. This is a wartime undertaking. Today I'm signing... Yeah, he keeps on saying wartime. Um, if you don't think that they're going to try to enact their tyranny on you, you are wrong. They are going to try to terrorize us. That's what they are about. Don't let them. You say no all the way. Say no. And never, ever, ever stop saying no to these people in government. I don't care if they're in D.C. I don't care what state you're in. Tell your local government. Tell your state's governor to go and jump off a cliff somewhere. All right? Tell them to go and, you know, join the hair sniffing club with Joe. And you don't want nothing to do with them. Period. Just say no. That's what I am. No to masks. No to vaccination. No, Joe. And no camel toe. I mean, Camilla, whatever the, your dumb name is. Camel toe, whatever. You know, whatever. In the executive action to use the Defense Production Act and all other available authorities to direct all federal agencies and private industry to accelerate the making of everything that's needed to protect, test, vaccinate, and take care of our people. Well, we've already identified suppliers, and we're working with them on, to move the plan forward. Now look, our strategy includes a plan to safely reopen schools and businesses. You know what? I, I honestly can't listen to any more, and I know that you folks don't want me to... Um, subject you to any more of this, but um, <laughs> it, it is something else. What's coming forward? What's coming down the pike? You know, all these things are going to ramp up, and. Uh, It's going to be real hard to make the right choices. Stay true to yourself. And try to stay kind at, at the same time. I mean, if someone's coming at you with a needle or something like that, or trying to force something on you physically, well, then you got to do what you got to do. But, you know, in general, let's just... Try to stay calm and stay kind. That's a biggie. Stay kind. Stay humble. That's going to be hard for me, but I'm going to do the best that I can. I don't want to be an asshole to anyone. But at the same time, I, I, I cannot allow someone to... 
terrorize me. I can't allow myself to be terrorized. And I hope you don't allow it either to yourself. So, until next time, enjoy our wild America.